My name's Amy, I'm a recovery room nurse, and things to expect when you come in, right when you wake up from the OR, they'll bring you into the recovery room. We're there to help you wake up, we hook some monitors up to you. Um, anesthesia, your anesthesiologist will give us a report and tell us how you did during surgery, what medications they gave you. Um, we check your blood pressure, your vital signs, your heart rate, um, we listen to your lungs, and then we're there right at your side the entire time you're in the recovery room. Um, we're making sure that you're waking up safely. We help man manage your pain, give you medications for pain management and um, nausea if you get nauseated. Um, we want to control your pain as well as make sure that you're waking up safely and um, get you in a more comfortable position and getting feeling better before we move you on to your next step, whether that's in recovery, post-op to go home or up to your room where you're gonna be spending the night. And I know we sometimes can't get you completely pain-free, but we try to get you at least in a more comfortable position and the edge taken off your pain where you can at least carry on a conversation and be able to tolerate something to eat and drink and be back with your family and get feeling a little bit better to where we can get you onto the next step of recovery. And we're there right with you, right at your side the entire time. And we're there to essentially hold your hand and get you through that first step of recovery. But we know when we're ready to leave recovery, when you're awake, when you're able to, when your vital signs are stable, when you're able to, um, when your pain's not completely pain-free, but you're able to at least tolerate a certain pain number, and when your oxygen at least is um, at something like two or three liters, but enough to where in post-op they can wean you down enough to go home, or if you're gonna go upstairs, at a certain level to where they are comfortable with it. Um, when you come into recovery, we'll have a mask on your face initially, and we'll wean that down to what we call a cannula that goes in your nose, and we'll have it on a couple of liters, two or three liters. Um, and if you can tolerate that um, at least above 90%, then we'll move you on to the next step. Um, ideally, we'll again wean that off to where it's completely off, unless you're on oxygen to begin with from home will get you back to what your baseline is when you came into the hospital. What do I like about being a recovery room nurse? I love it. Um, I see different things every day. I worked cardiac for 17 years and I love cardiac nursing. I miss that, but I also get to see it in recovery. I see all sorts of things. I see cardiac, I see, I see bones, I see <laughs> everything from head to toe. I see a variety of things. It's fast paced. Um, we wake people up. I get to usually help them feel better for the most part. Um, I get them through that first stage, help them feel better, get them out to their families and hopefully make their day a little bit better. Whether they remember us or not, usually they don't um, because of anesthesia. But the important part is um, I get to help them feel better and at least they may not come into me initially feeling good, but before they leave me. By the time they're leaving me, they're usually happy, they're smiling, and um, for the most part, they're usually, we're friends by the end of their stay with me, whether it's 30 minutes or an hour. <laughs> we're friends, they're happy, and I feel like I've made a difference in their day, and I love it. We have good teamwork here, everyone is happy, we're all friends, we all help each other out, and my day goes by fast, and I'm happy at the end of my day. I feel like I've made a difference. <laughs>